Pizzetto. And while we are upgrading our studio with new cameras and improvements, we are going to take you around campus to show you what you should expect for this upcoming school year. That's totally right. So how about we start off the show like we always do with the prayer and pledge. And remember to start off the school year with Jesus' blessing. Please remember that we are in God's holy presence. In the, in the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Loving Father, please allow us to make this year successful. Allow us to make positive decisions that reflect you, Lord. Give us the ability to see the path that you have set before us and act with love and courage. This is not an easy task, but it can be accomplished with hard work and dedication, just as you have shown us, Lord. We ask this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join us in honoring our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, Bishop Gorman. For some of us starting this school year, we worry about fitting in and being accepted by our peers. But we are not the only ones who are thrown into a new school. Bishop Gorman has several new teachers this year who are working to give you the best education possible. But of course, we still do not know much about them. So we sent Sam Portmore to see what exactly led these teachers to the halls of Bishop Gorman. In addition to all your faculty favorites, there are several new additions to our teaching staff this year. Most of these teachers have traveled across the continent to teach at Bishop Gorman. However, some teachers have traveled across the world while others are part of our very own alumni. BGTV will be bringing you the exclusive news on these new additions to our staff on our Greet the Gale segment throughout the year. I'm really excited to be part of the Bishop Gorman family and I'm really looking forward to meeting all the students um, and of course the first football game, that's what I'm really excited about. Um, but mostly just being part of the Gorman family, uh, meeting all the wonderful people here and hopefully this will be one of our best school years. I'm Sam Poidmore reporting for BGTV. While we have new teachers just beginning their Bishop Gorman legacy, our senior class of 2016 is set to take their leading role this school year. So we had Thomas Rodrigues find out what is driving these seniors to make every day of their last year the best day ever. This year is the last chance for the class of 2016 to achieve any hopes and goals they have set for their high school career. Let's find out what those are. I'm really excited to lead the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors um, and to have just a really good year and be involved in everything. Um, I'm really excited to start this year and for all of the senior class to prepare ourselves and embarking on a new chapter in our lives. Um, this school year I just really have, want to have a good year, especially our senior class. We've gotten a lot together. I think we should do so much getting closer as friends but also inviting the whole entire school to make sure the freshmen are welcome. Just having a really great year overall at the football games and the assemblies. Everything just to bring the whole school together. Um, so as a senior and as a link leader this year, I'm really excited to be a role model for the freshmen. I'm really excited to try and get them involved in a lot of going to like the games and getting them involved in activities and clubs. Because I think that's really important to do your like first year here. It's only the beginning of the year, so we have all year to find out if these seniors will lead our school to achieve these hopes and goals. I'm Thomas Rodericks reporting for BG. TV. Bishop Gorman has everything from fantastic teachers to a strong religious foundation, but we would not be the same without the hard work and dedication of our student athletes and the support of the Bishop Gorman community. Sarah Broski has given us the inside scoop on what to expect during our Gorman Athletics this year. Hey, Bishop Gorman, Sarah Brodsky here for sports. We have a lot coming to you this year, a lot of wins to look forward to, and a new sport joining us at the G. I went around to go talk to the coaches about the upcoming year. We got a lot to look forward to this season. Starting this Saturday at 7 p.m. on ESPNU, we have Chandler from Arizona coming in. They're ranked top 10 in the country. So they're a good football team. They've got eight or nine Division I guys on their team. Uh, like I said, it's defending state champions from Arizona. So it's going to be a tough game. Our boys will be ready to go. And then after that, we play Bingham up from Utah. We'll travel there. And then we'll go play Washington from Bellevue. We'll travel there as well. Then we'll come home and play Long Beach Poly from Southern California, along with Servite from Southern California. And then we'll jump in elite play here in Nevada, play three games, and then Don Bosco from Prep from New Jersey will come out and play. And then we'll finish the season with our ride 
rivalry, Palo Verde. So it's going to be a great year. We're fired up. We're pumped up about it. That's going to be an exciting year. We have a brand new team. We have a lot of underclassmen coming up. They're going to step up and play the role. And, and uh, it's going to be a very fast team, a uh, dominant pitching staff. And uh, it's going to be a very exciting year this year. Having lost 16 seniors to graduation last year, I'm really looking forward to the younger guys stepping up. Well, we're excited about the year. Uh, you know, we obviously have some big shoes to fill with some of our seniors that graduated last year, but we're excited. Uh, some new faces, some returners, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So we're looking to get a Bishop Warman High School ice hockey club started. We've had a couple of information meetings already where we were able to get some students to come over and talk to us a little bit about whether or not they'd want to play and, and so on. So we're trying to right now just gauge student interest in the beginning. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to have some regular ice time down at the Las Vegas Ice Center most likely. Uh, and then above and beyond that, we're going to look to grow a team out of this. Thanks for joining me for sports today, Bishop Gorman. Let's have a great year. Well, that's it for today, Bishop Gorman. We'll see you in two weeks with our first live show. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jessica Tuttle. I'm Maya Ellis. And, and this is BGTV. Thanks, Maya and Jessica. Hi, Bishop Gorman. It's Alexa Bell Castro. And thank you for joining us for our sneak peek at the excited school year ahead of us. I'm here live in the BGTV studio, so listen up. I'm going to have the names of three raffle winners in just a moment. But first, for all my fellow seniors, don't forget to be at the ATC at 7.30 a.m. on Monday for our retreat. For everyone else, school gets out at 11.30 and campus closes at noon. Service hours, we all need them. Tomorrow, there is a fantastic eyeglass distribution event that is happening tomorrow. Also, if you want to sign up for Kairos, make sure to turn in your application by this upcoming Tuesday. In addition, a big thank you to Mrs. Commons in class for winning Mightbox this week with a donation of $187. If you would like to be in Gail's Theater Guild, production of Mary Poppins opens. Open auditions are Tuesday during Gail's and after school, as well as Wednesday during Gail's period. Sign up in the theater complex. If dancing is more your style, the dance team has auditions today after school in the gym from 2 to 4. Now for the moment you've been waiting for. Drum roll, please. For those of you who turned in your senior pictures on time, here's the raffle. John Bailey. Kendall Keeland. Go to the next. Oh, and we're only supposed to do two. And now for Club Fair Trivia. Michaela O'Malley. You'll get a chance between, between a pair of tickets to homecoming or prom. Con congratulations, guys. Speaking of tickets, you can still buy seats for the football season opener tomorrow night against Chandler until 2.45 p.m. after school today. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. And remember, Bishop Gorman, it's an orange out. I'm Lex Bell Castro, and this is BGTV.